Hello, hello. Welcome to another episode of Cinnamon Stitches. I am your... Today I'm your cleaning and organizing host, Jennifer. Today we are in... I did not plan on making a video today. I'm going to be raw honest. I'm kind of in the mood where I just want to take some time off. But I was in here. I was singing. I was dancing. I was having a grand old time. See if that makes a difference. It's kind of dark in here because I'm facing away from the light. So, my room's a hot disaster. As you can tell by the stuff piled on my desk. So it needs to be put away and I'm like, we might as well record what I really would love to do and I wish that YouTube would let me do this, but they won't. <laughs> I just want to play music and record myself cleaning and singing. But yeah, first of all, I don't have a real good singing voice, but it doesn't matter because we'd all be partying, right? But <laughs> I music helps to motivate me. Music makes you lose control. Um, my goal is to clear this off, but also clear off part of this, um, the top part of this cart right here, because I figured my spinning supplies can go in this top part of this cart. Because right now they're in this little bucket. This bucket is getting too small, and they're all over my desk. So this is spinning stuff. That's stuff from the um, yarn crawl, and then all that is spinning fibers or yarn I have already spun. I know the lighting is terrible. I look, whoo, scary. Extra equipment. I don't know what to do with my extra equipment. Here's another problem. I've been storing things in the secret closet that you guys are well aware that exists in there because we did the in the closet series. But when my niece comes home from college for the summer, that is her, basically that's her bedroom. <laughs> Cause I don't have an extra bedroom for her. She stores all of her stuff. The closet acts as um, a, a dresser. Uh, um, she keeps all her makeup in there on a rolly cart. She keeps her snacks in there. Like it's her entire dorm fits into the closet and her mattress stores in there. And then she just pulls her mattress out and sleeps on it at night in the living room. Right? Problem is it's filled with makes. It's filled with Yarn, not yarn, there's not yarn in there. It's filled with all of the things. It's filled with all of the things, okay? It's got all the stuff I've been working on since she was here last. And I need to clear that out. I just, I'm running out of room in this house. So we need to focus in here so I can get stuff put away and organized. I'm not even going to talk about the mess that's behind you guys right now, but it's a hot mess. I figured you guys could come along with me and we'll, we'll explore. And now I'm getting hot because I've been dancing for the past 20 minutes. Um, we'll go through and we'll figure out what we're doing. And I'll show you some cool stuff that's on my desk or in the rolly cart or in my drawers. Because that's another issue I'm having is like... There's stuff in my drawers... I see it's so dark. There we go. <laughs> That's a little bit better. Um, there's stuff in my drawers that I needed to put away when I got the desk. And now at this juncture in life, I realize I don't want to do the Cricut stuff anymore. So I have a whole drawer full of Cricut stuff. And I think that is going to have to probably go somewhere else because I need that drawer for like spinning supplies or like whatever. Some place to store my yarn swift. Because this monster. Okay. Speaking of yarn swifts, I was watching Hannah over at Cozy Cottage Crochet. She got herself a new yarn swift and oh my God, do I want it. It is one of the ones that clip onto the desk, which I had to uh, get rid of my other one because it broke, but also because everything seemed to clip on a desk that I did not own. And even my kitchen table does not have like something like all of everything was beveled and like rounded off and fancy edges. And so nothing that clipped onto anything worked. So the umbrella, the, the, the Swifts, that are like the umbrella style that clip onto the desk did not work for me at all. And that's what she has, but you can customize the colors and like, it's so pretty. $150 though. And I cannot afford that right now, but oh my God, do I want it? I don't need it. 
but it's, you can make make it sparkly. It's just all the things. Oh, it's so dark. I'm trying to point you in a direction to where the light is not so affected that you can actually see me because I don't want the video to be dark, dark. You guys are getting a whole different view of the room than you have gotten in a long time. You see all of my yarn buckets over there that we don't ever show. <laughs> and what else is over there? Oh, my, my table for my, what do you call it thing? So part of the problem is, is just trying to figure out where everything needs to go, where I want it to go. And this is a constant struggle because I got tea in here. I got Splenda in here. I finally find my Koigu coupon that I've been searching for. This is really ridiculously expensive yarn that I got at 90% off. This is 100% silk yarn. It's actually a kit. This retailed for over $120 at the time. And I paid, I don't remember what I paid, but it was like 90% off at the, the thrift store. Not the thrift store, the creative reuse store because it's two balls of the silk haven't used it and I'm afraid it's going to dry rot so now it's up front so I can look at it so that I put it into a project for dry rots so that's what we're doing today is we're trying to figure out what the heck I'm doing this needs to stay on my desk because there's some things on my Koigu wish list that I want don't need but I want this is empty. That will work for tea. Dead batteries go over there. Stickers. Stickers from Happy Mail. This is Happy Mail. This is stickers. Stickers go on the rolly cart. Not nowhere near. Chicken down, chicken down. All right, Carolina Fiber Fest. All right, so I need this top part emptied out. And I need that to come up over the rug. See my, my special weaved, not weaved, my very first spun yarn made into this hat. This can stay over here with this stuff because it's going to go with the spinning stuff. And that is my inspiration. This is yarn Mr. Cinnamon picked up for me while he was out and about on his travels. And I probably showed it in a video. Wandering Wool. He paid $9 for this. This is alpaca, silk, and cashmere. Oh, and it's so stinking soft. I'm not... I have a hard time using alpaca. But... This doesn't feel like typical alpaca, and it doesn't have a whole bunch of hair on it. Come on. It's not real hairy like a lot of alpacas are. This is the color Star Wust, Stardust. And then... Dyed Mad Yarns. Chester Sock. I, I think I did show this. This one's not real soft. And then... Quince and Company Wimbrel. I think I have Quince and Company. So this is cotton. That's got to be cotton. It feels like cotton. Texas organic cotton. So this would probably pair up really good with some of my uh, universal wools. So something else I need to do while we're organizing. This bucket was in my dining room, which is right there. Okay. It was on my bookshelf in there because I didn't have room in this room for it. And all the backs to my eyeballs that I couldn't find last week when I was making the bunnies for Easter. Well, two, that was a couple weeks ago. For Easter, I couldn't find the backs to any of my eyeballs because they're right here. So that needs to stay in here. Those feel very similar. It's a Hobby Lobby Fundamental Cotton. They feel almost identical. I would absolutely put these in a project together. Which is insane because I'm sure this Quince and Company was $20 up. 
and I paid a dollar thirty-seven, and it feels almost identical. All right, so I need to empty this bucket out because I need to use this to put stuff in. Cottonwood. This yarn was sent to me from Ricolo's Crochet Corner. Why it was in the dining room? Not a clue, but this would be beautiful to work with. This is, these are socks, so you can make rainbow matching socks. <sighs> Pile that on the already packed desk. My rainbow doily. This is just weird random stuff. Mile a minute, a notebook with a postcard that I have not used. Oh yes, I did. I put notes, I put show notes in here. Oh, I used three pages. Moss snake. Giant wood crochet hook. Imported from Detroit stickers. Which, those can actually go on my, uh, my, my laptop desk, which I bought stickers for and have never put on here. I'm going to do the white. This is supposed to be Chrysler Pride, but I'm not like a Chrysler fan. Like it's not, I don't know why we got these probably because our, I think our van might be a Chrysler, but it says import, imported from Detroit. This is Motor City and I am a Detroit import. There we go. Now I just need to put my Fall Out Boy stickers on there. I ordered some Fall Out Boy stickers from Etsy and they are amazing, but they came from the UK. My external microphone the little man keeps trying to walk off with. That goes in the camera equipment. My handguard. Stitch patch. The weirdest random crap is in here. A genie patch. I have a jean jacket that I put patches on, and that's what that's for. A Disney book. I mean, that don't belong in this room at all. I bought these so Juju could make me a stitch marker, and she still has it. By the way, if you don't know, another patch. Um, Juju has put some stuff in her Etsy shop. A necklace. It was sent to me in Happy Mail. No idea what this cord is for. That little man knows. Probably to the cricket. A 50 cent piece. Here you go, guys. The Elusa 50 cent piece. These are rare. <laughs> I don't even know if they make these anymore. A 50 cent piece. This is a coin that equals 50 cents. My mom always collected weird crap like that. Some more charms. I actually have two girls and a boy. Well, I have more than that, but you already know the story behind that. Adventure awaits charm. Again, it's supposed to be put on a keychain. And I have the keychains. This goes to a label maker I don't know what little man did with because I know that he walked off with it. A little tiny marker. Another keychain. Two keychains. Alright, now that's empty. Now we can refill it. Alright, I'm going to put that down there. This is a part for my uh, bowl winder. A million crochet hooks that need to be put away. Well, I don't know why I do this, okay? I have this. There's crochet hooks in here. Ball yarn. Empty eyeglass case. A Scentsy fragrance thing. And this one has knitting needles in it, which I did not know. Okay, so the other day, Story time. My rolly cart over here, right here, is filled with all my knitting needles, so I thought. And I was working on the shawl that I finished. And if you're a cinnamon bun, you already know where that's at. Um, 
and I went looking because I couldn't find any of my cords and half my needles were missing because instead of putting them away I put them in this carry thing this plastic bin that I got from the Dollar Tree this one's crochet hooks this one is these are both from the Dollar Tree they're really nice made plastic crochet hooks knitting needles did not have a clue where any of these were at as a matter of fact I was also looking for my needle stoppers which are in here conveniently I also have a whole bunch of double point needles all right so I have allen wrenches because you never know when you're gonna need allen wrenches stamps and jingle bells the most random stuff see I get irritated with myself and I'm like what are what what is happening what <laughs> what are you doing what were you thinking when you did this and it worked at the time it absolutely had its function at the time all right so these are some of the roll eggs i've been making by the way if you didn't watch those videos you probably should have because they were really cool i have perfected my roll eggs to where they are coming out even and smooth and i have six that look just like this so those are going to go into a self-striping um fiber i'm gonna work on some more of this i've also figured out how to make it more light lofty fluffy so that it's not pulling so hard like i've learned so much i've been practicing this is why i tell you guys not to throw your stuff on the floor <laughs> so i tell you guys i have no idea what i was gonna say learning like the whole learning process I might look, make something look easy, but I struggle through it. And that's why I made those videos is because I struggle just as much as anyone else. And I wanted to show you like I might make it look ridiculously easy. But what you don't see behind the scenes is I'm practicing and practicing and practicing until I nail it. And that is the same thing with my knitting journey. If you've never watched the video on my knitting journey, I would suggest that you do watch that. Because I struggled for two years just to understand the basic concept of knitting because i am a crocheter i've only ever seen people crochet in real life i've never been in the same room with someone knitting and when i've seen people knit online they're they're knitting like they're they're doing their sticks this way and they're wrapping the yarn and to me that wastes so much time and effort for me personally like if you do it that way and it works for you like i'm not judging anybody else for me i'm like i don't want to do a stitch and wrap and do a stitch and wrap that is not relaxing to me i just want to just have a flow and go and i was doing everything backwards because i'm also ambidextrous and i really really struggled with knitting for two full years you guys didn't see how much i was struggling behind the scenes because i was not letting it take me on like i was not gonna let it win i was gonna do it and i've taken that approach with a lot of things i'm not gonna let this win like i'm smarter than this yarn we're gonna figure it out i'm smarter than these knitting needles i'm smarter than this fiber and I just want to thank Tracy again because that blending board made some really cool, like that fiber I bought that it, that is in here, the fiber is way too short to twist. Um, and I did not know that at the time. And I was really struggling with it because it kept breaking apart the blending board and adding cotton with it 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 turned out beautiful like i'm so happy with this it's on here stretching out a little bit i'm gonna wash it and hang it up later but like really really happy with that and that reminds me of fruit stripes gum and i i keep coming across things that remind me of that but let's see if i can get this back on without knocking a hundred things over because now everything is piled on my desk. All right, we're just going to leave it. Because now look how bad it is. It's even worse. <laughs> it's, it's even worse. All right, so this I want to be spinning supplies. And I didn't buy this basket for the purpose of having spinning supplies in it. But it's working. So we may continue. Actually, we'll empty that out. 
little travel scissors. Nope, it's gotta go that way. Alright. Nope, I'll put that right there for now. Let's see if we can get some of that folded back in there. I almost feel like that bucket is too small because I have more fiber up here. I don't want to break that. Alright. I have that. I also have this. There's fiber on my desk. I'm wondering if putting fiber in this will help it be contained better. I don't want to like bag my braids up though. This might help it stay contained. A little bit better. I can't wait to work with this one. This one is so beautiful. This is the Kim Dyes yarn. Look how pretty that is. And then our purple braid. Put our new braid in there. That actually works better than the green bucket. That, um, this braid from Malabrigo was compressed so much into a tiny little, like, it looked this big when I bought it. So what I did is I completely took the whole thing open and I fluffed out all the fibers. It is three times the size that it was when I purchased it. And you can see the colors better and it's way softer and, like, beautifuler. I was like, why are they doing that? Like, Malabrigo of all people should know not to compress their fibers like that. It was atrocious. There, look at that. See? That's better, right? Right now, what am I do with this bucket? And here's the problem. I still want to buy more fiber. Do I need more fiber? No. I bet that green and blue will fit in here. And these will be fibers in progress. Yep. Now we have two empty containers for other areas of the room. And my spindle goes right there. Look at that. We did it. All right. Oh, another fiber here. This is still empty. There. Now, I'm going to get my chicken off the floor. A little chicken. have hidden chickens in the room. That is so much better. Now that's off my desk. That actually makes me feel a lot better. All right, now we just need to figure out what to do with all of this. I bought this because it was a really good deal. It's the bonus bundle of the mandala. And it's one of those things, I have an anniversary cake over there and I cannot make myself work with these yarns. This one, I'm not a big fan of Mandala. Why I bought it? Because it was a really good deal. All right, the yarn is going to go in that blue bucket until I figure out where to put it. And we'll go from there. Where did all the rainbow cakes go? One, two, four. The hanks are going to stay on. Oh, this is supposed to go over there. You 
utensils can go in here. I wonder what this smells like. My Scentsy dealer has been very pushy lately. I haven't purchased anything from her from Christmas since Christmas because, wow, I got a lot for Christmas because I love Scentsy. Oh, that smells nice here. We'll hang it by you so you have all the good smells. But I got some on my hands. And we also have a bucket here. I think this one's better for utensils until I can figure out where to put those. These need to be filed. Back in their proper containers. Don't get me wrong, I love these. These are fantastic. If you can get if you have these at the Dollar Tree, these are good for all of your drawers. I have several varieties in my drawer in all of these drawers. I use these for obviously crochet hooks and knitting needles, but also like my batteries are in something similar to this. Uh, my entire drawer has these types of containers with all of like all kinds of stuff, like cutting stuff. Oh, see, this should probably go with this because it goes together. Now I just need to find... There it is. See, these were in three different places. This holds my ball winder to my table, and I had lost it. And this... And this... Goes to my knitting machines. Along with all of my scissors. There's knitting needles in here too. I keep them there so that they're close by in case. They... That was a whole lot of acrylic resin crochet hooks. pause and pick those up so that you're not looking at my butt. Did anyone else expect those to all be broken? Not a single one broke. Not a single one. That was an absolute miracle. I mean, that was all resin hooks. It's an empty furrow box. All right, so those. See, and I also I have an empty bucket down here. Empty. I also like to pull out my drawers and use them as extra table space. Boop. I could really use some music today. I'm gonna get off of here and I'm blast it. What's crazy? I was in the living room. I was bored because I had just finished a large project. I don't want to start a new project. So I turned on the Xbox. I was like, I haven't played Dreamlight Valley in a long time. I'm gonna play. It was at that moment that Dreamlight or the Xbox decided it needs to update. right now so I was like are you serious just like right now it needs to update when I actually have time and want to sit down it's gonna update right now so I was like well I might as well go wrap that yarn I have such beautiful hooks 
and the 4.0. Super sparkly. Even that one didn't break. Absolute miracle. Favorite hook cases. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> you know, this community, this this YouTube would not be as amazing as it is without all of you. Because there's been so many things that have been introduced to me by you guys. And then I'm like, I'm going to share this with everybody because I was so lucky to have had this shared with me. I'm going to actually grab this one too because... I know that I have more hooks. They're on my desk. They're in my drawer. We try to file away as many as we can. I like to keep one or two on the side so that when I get the urge, yeah, see, there's that room in here. So when I get the urge, even look at even my really fat ones fit in there. When I get the urge, I can just reach in there and grab a hook. Well, maybe not. My tray from Randy had all my pink hooks in it. And I know I'm going to get asked. Every time I get asked, where did you get those amazing hooks? Amazon? <laughs> Throw them on Amazon. If I can remember, I'll link it. I got this tray from Randy. She is a she's a, a very loyal subscriber, but she's also a huge member in the, the Facebook group. She's like very active in the Facebook group. This is my favorite hook. My favorite. I hate that this video is so dang dark. No, I think we're gonna leave that one out. I'll leave some of those out. wood hook. This one is Divot Shilp. Uh -oh. I got a song stuck in my head. We do it in the dark with smiles on our faces. That's a Fall Out Boy song. ink pens that I couldn't find yesterday. All right. Empty boxes. Tubes with old fire. Old fire. Old fire. I get asked about old fire all the time. I don't have anything personally against old fire. They're just not my favorite hooks. They're a little too short. And even Mr. Cinnamon, we were in a store. We were in one of the local yard shops. He thought, oh, look, they have so many crochet hooks. And I looked and I was like, oh, yeah, cool. But, like, they're really short for my hands. I like the really long hooks. And that's the only thing I have against the O-Fire is they're a good inch shorter than most of the hooks I use. And that's, that could be a problem. All right, everybody, just get back in there. I need a little cute little dangles for these. Like, this would be cute with like a honeybee keychain on it, and the other one, avocado keychain. All right, got that. We have a bunch of crochet hook cases in here. And my super awesome portable neck fan where I'm having them god awful hot flashes. Alright, so we had this in there so we can put these in here. What else can go in here? I should put crochet hooks and stuff in here, like needles, right? Is that what you were thinking? I can hear you, you're talking to me. And then they're not all in that cart. Lily cart number two. 
because these wheelie carts came in handy because I didn't have drawers in my desk. I had a kitchen table in here. Why not use them, right? All right, so. You can tell I was in here just tearing things apart because I was looking for all of those cords that I just could not find. Let me check my phone. Etsy. Posh DIY crochet patterns. She gave me a shout out, which was so awesome. I like... I, I'm really appreciative. So that's Posh DIY creations. I'm really appreciative when people give me shout outs because they're not trying to get something from me and that's what she was doing she was congratulating me on 40,000 subscribers just because she was proud of me and she's been she's been commenting a lot and I appreciate that so much because when a smaller channel gives me a shout out and they're not doing it to get me to say their name online. You know what I'm saying? Because I get a lot of that too like I'm going to shout out Cinema Stitches because she'll shout me out but I don't do shout outs. I've never done shout outs in the over five years I've been on here. I've never done shout I don't do shout outs. They don't do anything. <laughs> they, they don't, they don't do anything. Okay. So I just appreciate her giving me the love without, you know, I get a lot of smaller channels. Uh oh, something is loose there. Yeah, that's loose. It's loose. It's wobbling. I have to fix that. I have to fix it. My scale is in here. My brads are in here. Which I don't ever use, but. There. Now that fits. All right, now, shorty fatties. Pardon, pardon. I'm dropping knitting needles everywhere. Where's my water? Something else I need to do. These were sent to me years ago but most of these are unmarked and I use them because there's only DPNs I've had for a long time a bunch of little tiny metal crochet hooks in here too and the metal crochet hooks are good when you drop stitches so that's why they stay in here but see I have all these and they're and you know what's going to happen you guys is I'm going to put these in here and I'm going to forget that I put them in here I'd be like, where are all my DPNs? But I didn't know where they were anyway because I forgot they were over there. And then when I go to look for my DPNs, oh, there they are. a good portion of my knitting supplies were gifted to me from you guys oh I, that's a blue one that one don't belong in there that one goes down here Now I have my DPNs in one place. I know that I have more of those, so we're going to keep those out. And those are going to go in here. My blue, my red, my yellow's down there. These are empty because I kept using the knitting needles and not putting them back. I need to keep that out. <laughs> uh, I have two of those. That's how you tell how big your uh, your DPNs are. Measuring it with that. All right. 
to this in a minute. I have project bags for like every occasion. This one, actually it's a Notions. This is thread and needles. More knitting needles. If I can empty the top of that off, I could put more supplies in that. And put this in the drawer where they belong. This is a bunch of... <laughs> a bunch of keychains that were sent to me from all over the world. This is... County Antrim. Why, why is this camera not focusing? Come on. There we go. Camera's like, I don't know what to do. Keychains. I like using keychains on my bags. Decorate them. I mean, I have, it's just weird random stuff, but this one. This one was actually used for a project, so that has just one set of knitting. Oh. My little yarn, my little yarn condom. All right. So, I mean, we've been here for what? I don't know how long. It says 14 minutes. I know we've been here longer than 14 minutes and I don't want to bore you guys, but I want to show you guys what I'm doing. I also, while we're doing all of that, little Bentley is over there sleeping like a good boy, but over here, I have to tackle this. I have to tackle that. That is one of the main reasons that you are not seeing me buy stuff. Um, it's one of the reasons I have stopped hauls. I mean, aside from not being able to afford hauls right now because I'm focusing on other things. So I was funneling all of my haul money towards the Fiber Fest. And now I'm funneling all of my, no, not the fiber press, the, the yarn crawl. And now I'm funneling all my haul money towards the Maryland Sheep and Wolf Festival because I do not have endless amounts of money. I have to budget and like I really want to go and enjoy myself and have a good time with my family at the Maryland Sheep and Wolf Festival. And I want to be able to buy myself more fiber to spin because oh my god I love it. I also would like to buy some more yarn from local dyers because I really am focusing on making things out of the fancier yarns. And this right here, these two beautiful ladies are a prime example of me using the good yarn. So that is my Koigu sweater. This is the Anya yarn from Lion Brand. And on her is my knit shawl that I will show you guys on Monday that I made out of unique cotton, which, oh my goodness, I'm so, so proud of that. And I'm not going to let you get a get better look than what you're seeing right here. But I am so, like, I finished it and almost cried <laughs> because knitting has been such a real struggle to me. And if you're a cinnamon bun, you already saw it, but um, knitting has been a real struggle to me. And I did... I forgot that I had actually knit a blanket. You guys are on my slipper, your cricket. I knit a blanket, like a whole blanket. I totally forgot about it because I hated it. I hated it. And it took me over a year to, to knit this blanket and I screwed it up so royally that I had to fold it in half. Like, <laughs> I still look at that blanket in hatred because I messed it up so bad. Um, so I have not made big knit product projects and I have very rarely experimented with knitting the way that I do with crochet. And I think that is where a lot of my joy is robbed from me with knitting because I don't experiment. And I hate following other people's patterns. It bores me to tears. I also don't like reading patterns. Like I am really good with charts. Like I can look at a chart and not have to read a single word. That's just the way my brain processes information. And I actually did that recently with that one shawl I made. This shawl. 
I followed the chart mostly. I mean, once I got past a certain point, I just followed the chart. And it's an easy enough pattern. It was an easy chart to follow. I don't like the shawl because it doesn't fit a fat body very well, but um, the designer skinny, so I don't expect her to understand how a fat body works. <laughs> um, so experimenting with that shawl was like, it brought so much joy to me. And I got asked in the comments, like, did you enjoy the knitting? Because you guys know I've struggled with knitting a lot. Knitting, I love it when I love it and I hate it when I hate it. And I got to be in the mood to want to knit and I don't like knitting big things. And that shawl took me over a week to finish. And a shawl that size should have taken me two days with crochet. And so this is, these are just things I struggle with, you know. And that is entirely out of my imagination. And it fits me beautifully. And the colors are amazing. It's two totally different colorways. And I can't wait to tell you more about it. But like, so I'm so proud of it. But that's part of the reason that you're not seeing as many like yarn hauls or yarn features is because my personal life needs to be uh, on top. And it hasn't been for a long time. I've been business it has been first. And I'm working with a lot of yarns that yarn companies are like, hey, we need you to feature this yarn. Like, cool. I really like this yarn company. I'm going to feature this yarn. And I'm not going to do that anymore. I will feature a yarn if I want to feature it. And I think I kind of got lost in... I kind of got lost in that. In the wanting to impress the yarn companies. In wanting to show the latest and greatest yarns. I got kind of carried away with having to have everything that's new and shiny and I got lost in it and I have a pile of yarn on my floor that has either been sent to me or that I have featured in videos that I don't want. I don't want to touch them. I mean not all of those are in that category but some of those absolutely are in that category and I need to sort through that pile and figure out what I'm going to pass on to someone else or what I'm going to put in boxes on Etsy or what. I am trying to downsize a lot in my life and I'm trying to find my joy again in my art. And in order to do that, I cannot continue on the yarn haul path that I was on. I can't do it. That That is not joy to me. And yeah, those videos get a lot of views. And I make money off those videos. And I get promoted. Well, sometimes I get promoted from the yarn companies because of those videos. But then I'm lost. I'm lost in the commercialism. I'm lost in the marketing world. And I hate that world so much. I don't like the business world. I have seen and experienced things from people in these businesses that I just don't want to be a part of. I, I just don't. I'm not interested. So that's why you have seen kind of a change of content on the channel a little bit. Because Cinnamon Stitches is doing things for herself for probably the first time in her 45 years of life. Now I'm only 44, but I'm almost 45. <laughs> and that's you're seeing more of that. And if I lose subscribers, I lose subscribers. If I lose a little bit of monetization, I lose a little bit of monetization. But um, I think those of you that truly love me and appreciate all of my weird quirkiness, we're just going to hang through this ride and we're just going to have fun with it. And even though I'm spinning more and I'm showing more spinning content, this channel is not going to be a spinning content video channel at all. But it's what I'm doing right now. It's what I'm enjoying. And... I've had so many people reach out to me. That was so fascinating to watch. That was so interesting to watch. I don't ever want to do that, but <laughs> I feel you on that. I watch some stuff. Like, for example, there is the, the Creative Reuse Store in Harrisonburg, Virginia. They got donated five giant black garbage bags 
because someone in the area sheared their sheep. You know where I'm going with this, right? She said, contact me and make me an offer. Each garbage bag is like a pelt from a sheep, okay? Well, it's not a pelt. I don't think pelt is the right term. I think pelt has skin. And this is just the, the fleece. I am so tempted to drive my happy self over the mountain and go get a couple bags of this wool and process it from start to finish because that I would love to do that. And then I thought, you have got to be out of your mind to want to do that. First of all, it is backbreaking work. <laughs> I watch so many videos because I'm so fascinated by the process of taking it from a sheep and turning it into just beautiful, beautifulness. Okay, this is cotton. That's not a good example, but all of this, okay? turning it to that fascinated by it but I'm watching like they're literally picking poop out of the fur or the the fleece the fiber they're, they're literally which I could do they have to boil it like and I'm I'm already thinking I don't know how my hands are going to tolerate lanolin because you guys know I have all kinds of skin conditions that do not tolerate chemicals or like like hot water. I can't use most soap. I can't use most lotions. I think I'm going to be able to stick my hand in hot lanolin water. Probably not. And then take all of this wool and spin it. Okay, I could do that. But I'm also working with a drop spindle. And it would take me an eternity because I don't have a big machine. I don't have a spinner. I don't have an e-spinner. And then I could dye it without a problem. Like, I have all the dyeing supplies. I know how to dye. I could, in essence, do it. Do I want to? Yes. Do Should I? Absolutely not. So I have told Mr. Simmons, don't let me go buy no wool. <laughs> do not let me go buy any wool. I do not need to go buy a sheep, okay? Don't let me do it because I'm stupid <laughs> <laughs> go do it I even said in a video like I wanted I want sheep okay cool I want sheep I want to take the sheep I want to process the wool out that would be so cool to do from start to finish because it's fascinating to me no that's backbreaking work it is backbreaking work I have a hard time dyeing yarns because the washing it standing over my utility sink and washing the yarn is backbreaking to me and I have arthritis in my spine so yeah I cannot imagine doing giant like and I know Mr. Cinnamon would help and I know little man would help and I know Juju would help if I asked her but wow backbreaking work I clearly have lost my mind if I thought I was going to do that you know so I get it like there's things we're fascinated with we want to watch it be done because it's fascinating but I don't ever want to do that and a lot of you have said like that's really cool to watch you making the roll eggs but why I don't see the point <laughs> I just go buy yarn I understand that aspect of it too because it's work it's extra work to me I find it very relaxing and soothing to do that I really hate the noise of the bristles um like a lot so I'm not gonna be doing it often but it was a really good way to process the yarn or the fibers that I wasn't able to use. It was a really good way to do that. So, oh, there's my other yarn condom. In case you don't know what these are. These were sent to me in Happy Mail too, because I, I didn't know. You put your cakes in here and it holds the yarn together. It stops the yarn from collapsing on itself. And it, it stops them from getting all tangled. These are perfect size for um, like 100 grams of like fingering. Actually, you could fit even more than that in here because th this one's really stretchy. And then you just feed it through the hole right there. And it keeps your yarn from getting tangled or unballing itself. I really love these. I have, I was sent three of these in Happy Mail and um, she made them herself. And I love them, and I, I do use them quite frequently when I'm using my fancy yarns. just didn't know where they were. Because I moved everything around, and now... I am so much happier with the progress that I am making. So I'm going to go, and I'm going to turn on my music, and I'm going to edit this video for tomorrow. 
and yeah, me and Benny are just gonna, he's gonna lay down in his bed and he's gonna listen to me sing really loudly because that's what I do when I'm cleaning. And I also see empty spots on my shelves that I could put yarn up there. So yeah, very cool. I also need to sort through, this can be like a couple days process. I need to sort through these buckets because these are all Hanks. That one's not, the white one on the end is not. But these are all Hanks. And I need to, what I want to do is I want to sort the Hanks by, um, like if they go together, I want to put them together so that when I'm ready for that next project, those yarns are already together. And I already have started that on my desk over here. Behind Juju's cow picture. I have where I have put yarns together that go together in projects. I still have not bought frames for those, but those photographs I bought from the, the yarn, the fiber fest. Um, but yeah, I hope this video was fun for you. It was not fun for me because I'm cleaning. I'm getting frustrated with myself. And I get frustrated with myself because I'm really bad at organization. Um, no, I'm not. I'm really good at organizing it, and I'm not good at keeping it organized <laughs> or putting things back where they belong. Like, oh, I'll set this here. I'll deal with it later. I do that a lot, and then I forget about it entirely. And I also have a bucket that needs to go back up there. <sighs> I get tired, so I definitely need to put my music back on. But thank you for joining me in this dark, weird video. And um, I don't know if there's going to be a Friday video, Real Talk. I don't know. Um, I just don't know. And we're kind of just flying by the seat of our pants right now because that's all we can handle. But thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.